Well, folks, we've got trouble in Trump world and two individuals from Trump world who should, in theory, be totally aligned on everything are actually beefing currently and they're exchanging insults. And I'm talking about Trump attorney Lynn Wood and Marjorie Taylor Greene. What we're about to read is truly bizarre, but it's totally expected in 2021 America. So first, let's look at what Lynn Wood said about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, this is certainly interesting, to say the least. So as Jason Lemon of Newsweek explains, in my opinion, Marjorie Taylor Greene is a communist, Wood said in Friday remarks. If Marjorie Taylor Greene is running around saying impeach Biden, that says that Biden won. He didn't, the attorney said. And you would never impeach him with a communist Congress. It's a waste of time. Wood went on to suggest that Greene may be a traitor. A traitor will come at you as a patriot. Be careful, Wood said. Now, the first thing that I'll say about this is that to see someone who calls everyone else a communist, to see someone who uses the word communist as a synonym for bad be called a communist herself, it really is satisfying to see. Having said that, though, to suggest that Marjorie Greene, of all people, is a communist is just, it's obviously absurd on its face. And he's criticizing her because she wants to impeach Biden, when you'd think that a MAGA chud would want that to happen, but it's bad, according to him, because to want to impeach Biden, you acknowledge that he's president in the first place, which in and of itself is a no-no. So you, you have to pretend like Trump is actually still the president if you actually want to be part of this cult. It's really, really bizarre. But if you think that Marjorie Greene let that slide, you'd be mistaken because she hit back with a very powerful no you and accused him of some things that are pretty uh, big as well. Bigly, uh, I should say. Green responded on Saturday with an attack of her own. She suggested that Wood attempted to take money donated to his former client, Kyle Rittenhouse. The young man has been criminally charged with fatally shooting two people during a Black Lives Matter demonstration in Wisconsin last year while he was still a minor. People donated money through Fight Back Law, Lynn Wood, to Kyle Rittenhouse's legal defense. Kyle fired Lynn in December. People didn't donate to Lynn Wood, so why would he want $2 million back? Green wrote in a post published to her Telegram channel. Only monsters hurt innocent people in their greatest time of need. She's talking about Kyle Rittenhouse, by the way. Jesus. She continued, The GOP congresswoman urged followers to donate to a different fundraising campaign for Rittenhouse. Green then raised questions about the motives behind Wood's actions in the wake of the 2020 election. If Linwood has fought so hard against the election like he claims, even encouraging people to go in the Capitol on January 6th, why isn't he the target of the January 6th witch hunt, she asked. Got him. The J6 House Select Committee is only focused on Trump's biggest defenders, but not Linwood. Green wrote, hmm... Wood later posted more criticism of Green on his Telegram channel. I love Marjorie Taylor Green, but I have raised serious concerns about her failure to take meaningful action to fix 2020, he wrote. I believed in Marjorie. Now that I have questioned her failure to act to fix 2020, it appears that Marjorie no longer believes in me. To the contrary, she has attacked me with lies and misrepresentations, the attorney continued. A monster? Are you kidding me? He asked. Wood then suggested that Green was becoming part of the so-called deep state. <laughs> I'm also still willing to help her to prevent her from falling even into an even deeper deep state ditch, he wrote. So my favorite part about this is that they're just going back and forth, accusing someone, uh, accusing the other of something that's just batshit fucking insane. Actually, I think you're a communist. Well, you're part of the deep state. Ha ha. I mean, this is real stupid, folks. This is incredibly fucking stupid. They remind me of like two birds fighting over a corn kernel in a piece of dog shit. They both look ridiculous. They sound crazy. And anyone who's watching this should be perplexed, but also entertained because this is truly funny. And I mean, regardless of what they're fighting about, I don't know what catalyzed this. I don't know why Linwood chose to take a shot at Marjorie Green because seemingly he's the one who drew first blood. But I like this. Anytime there's trouble in Trump world, that's good for America. Objectively so. If you care about America and democracy, we need all of these little goons to be fighting each other because so long as they're fighting each other, then uh, they're at least preoccupied. They're not ruining the country or ruining it as quickly, I should say. But Marjorie Green here, uh, if I have to take a side, 
I've got to side with uh, Marjorie Green, I guess, because she doesn't seem like the one who provoked this exchange, right? And not that I would ever side with Marjorie Green on anything, but it could be the case that perhaps she implied that he was taking money or embezzling money from the Kyle Rittenhouse legal fund. And maybe she just hinted at it and he didn't like that. I'm not necessarily sure how this began. It's really gross for her to suggest that Kyle Rittenhouse was some innocent person. This is a kid that showed up to a Black Lives Matter protest and he killed two people. So I just, I don't know what to say about this. To, to read this is truly surreal. I mean, look, it's expected in 2021 America, but still, even if this is the type of discourse that I'd expect from American politics nowadays, it's still really surreal and feels like a parody to read this. It feels like something you'd see from some political satire. But here you have these two dipshits, one calling someone a communist who's clearly not a communist and then accusing her of being part of the deep state. And then she's saying, oh, well, actually, hmm, it's a little bit sus that out of all of the people around Donald Trump, he's conspicuously not being investigated when he encouraged people to go to the House. And she kind of has a point. Maybe he should be investigated. I don't know. Either way, um, this put a smile on my face, and I hope that it uh, did the same for you, because watching these two idiots fight each other back and forth, it's basically a real-life version of the Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man meme, but I hate them both. They're both wrong. They're both stupid, but I love this, and I hope that they keep this up.